Desert Treasure 2 is finally out and I had an amazing time doing the quest. It took me roughly six hours on day one to complete and here's a summary of how I went. Ooh, hell yeah. What the fuck? I'm a little late to the party here as I was on vacation the day after DT2 was released. Then I got sick with COVID, but I'll do my best to catch up. There are four new bosses for me to camp, the Leviathan, Whisperer, Duke, and Vardivus. But welcome back to Peverlet. If you're new to this series, typically I spin a randomly generated wheel of bosses two times and ask you, the viewers, to vote on which pet I go for next. But since we just got four new bosses into the game, instead of spinning the wheel, I'm going to camp each one of the new bosses for one week, lasting one month. This way I can hopefully give enough time to each one and see how lucky I get. Today, I'll be starting off with the Whisperer. The fight is kind of straightforward using both ranged and magic as its auto attacks. Just make sure you never go into melee distance or you're gonna have a bad time. Pray according to the attacks. Mage attacks are blue and range attacks are these purple looking barb thorn things. In each phase, it'll change the order of its auto attacks, which you'll have to pay attention to. After each auto attack it does, it'll spawn four tentacles, which you then have to avoid by stepping away before it reaches the tile you were just at when it launched the attack. If you get hit by this, you'll not only take some damage but also lose some sanity and if your sanity reaches zero at any time during the fight you're going to take heavy damage over time and die when the whisperer reaches 75 percent 50 and 25 percent of her hit points you're going to see a special attack and when this happens click on your blackstone fragment which you got during the quest as you're going to need to click on this in order to get past her special attacks there are three specials you'll see one spawns a bunch of orbs on the ground and after clicking the blackstone fragment you want to run around and stand on all of the green orbs avoiding the other so you don't take damage. The next special attack spawns 12 ghosts. Click the fragment and you'll be able to attack each one and it's recommended to use a venator bow, attack one of the corner ghosts and the venator bow will kill all three on each side. The last special attack, the whisperer will teleport far south of the map and you'll see stone walls appear. Again, click on the fragment in the inventory and pay attention to the health of the walls. Find the lowest HP wall, then the second lowest HP and the third being the wall with the full HP. Whisperer will then attack you and you have to stand behind the walls or you take 45 damage and lose the same insanity. Once you get through all three special attacks and you get Whisperer down to zero HP, it'll then heal 140 HP and begin its enrage phase. At this point, the Whisperer will auto attack you endlessly until you kill it. It'll always start off with two range attacks, so pray range, and then it'll switch to two mage attacks and switch back and forth between the two. Also, you have to dodge all the tentacles that are coming at you, but if you move in an L pattern, you'll always avoid the tentacle attacks. It's basically a DPS check, so kill it fast and then it'll die. That's it. I don't typically make guides myself. Hopefully that kind of made sense, but there's tons of video guides out there by creators already, and I recommend checking those out if you're confused and want to see an actual in-depth tutorial. Oh, I wasn't looking, but we're fine. <laughs> 70 battle staffs. Damn, okay. <laughs> better <gasps> a tablet hell yeah teleport thank you <laughs> let me um i'm gonna inspect that actually i'm kind of scared if i die do i lose it hold on yeah i'm gonna go do that first i just don't want to lose it <laughs> i want that teleport forever oh i did so bad there so many misclicks that is generous supplies Okay, new PB, just, yeah, just about three minutes, not too bad. And we get 58 uncut diamonds. That's pretty good. That's about uh, 130K, not bad. All right, here is an example of what happens uh, when you mess up a lot. So not only do I misclick many times, I also decide to run melee distance and get pretty messed up. Double 26 hits right there. And then I also continue to mess up and misclick pretty bad i get hit lose all of my sanity and i just start taking rapid damage over time basically killing me very quickly so don't do any of what i just did right there Ooh, i just lost all my sanity right there just as i killed it okay that was uh that was pretty lucky if the uh, could, could have died right there only 46 hp almost zero prayer that was uh was a little bit of a rough kill i'm still trying to learn this but yeah, we're kind of rewarded 105 Addy Ore. 
All right, what do we get this time? Still trying to learn all the drops. I don't really know what it can actually drop. I haven't checked the wiki yet, but... Oh. Addy Longswords. Mithril Ore. Okay, that's uh, something. Oh, okay, okay. Awakener's Orb. It's uh, my first one, obviously. New to the collection log. Looks like they're going for about 2.7 mil, but these are the things that you're going to need to do the awakened versions of each of the bosses, which if you don't know, is basically the hard mode versions of each one. And I do know that there is a cosmetic reward that you can get after you get one KC of each of the awakened versions for Blood Torba, which I do want to work on and I do plan on working on it. However, they're very expensive and I still need to learn all of the bosses. I don't want to waste them right now when I don't really know what to do for each one. So for now, I'm going to save them. I don't plan on selling them, and I'll just save these, however many I get from each of the grinds, from each of the four bosses, and then I'll just slowly work on getting the Blood Torva kit later on when I actually get good at all four of these bosses. But for now, it's nice to get. Seven hundred raw monkfish. Oh, look, new uh, new PB as well. But damn, that's a that's a lot. I don't think that was... No, that wasn't a perfect kill. So if I if I would have gotten a perfect kill, I think I would have got like 50% bonus, whatever that is. But 700 of these is crazy. Sadly, they're not like at least sharks or mana rays or something like that. That'd be cool. But I mean, still money. It's like 140k. Really good drop right there. Oh, that's a nice drop. Okay, 933 soul runes. That's about 250k. I, I, I also don't think that was a perfect kill, but that's really nice. I like that. I know there's an easier way to do this shit, and I'm just making it way more difficult than I need to be. Oh, okay, okay. I'm glad I had to die there. I would have I been dead. Soul runes. I got rewarded for that double loot. What the hell? What? Nah, that wasn't double loot. I love running in circles. Surely it's dead. Ooh, seven dragon plate skirts. Wait, they're not noted? That's ass. What the hell? <laughs> Damn, I need to pick those up though. How oh, maybe I should have brought I thought they were in, I thought they were gonna be noted. What the hell? What the hell is this? Why is this not noted? No one told me I needed to bring my ring to alk these things. Force bank drop. Wait, everyone's gratzing. Grats Joe, 99 attack. Man, I just got here too. Bye, anglers. Ooh, Awakener's Orb. I'll take that. It's, um, I've got one already. It's not new to the collection log, but at least that's another attempt later on for, you know, the Awakened versions, I guess. I heard the sound and then I looked up the top and I was like, no collection log. Was sad for a brief second, but this is fine. This saves me money on attempts later. There it is, the first 100 kills. Pretty good. I'm actually, you know, slightly getting better at this one, getting a little bit more consistent with my kills and not dying. Uh, but uh, overall, I'm liking this boss so far. I still need to learn the other three, uh, despite me doing them in the quest, but I'm definitely enjoying the Whisperer as a boss. Hey, there we go. New PB with an Awakener's Orb again. I think that's our third one. I think these are only about 1 in 30 chance to get, so really good drop rates here. Oh, hold up. Another one. Okay, two in one trip. Not bad. About 2.9 mil just about. Making me happy that I'm going to hopefully get a lot of these so I don't have to spend money on them myself when I actually start going for the Blood Torva kit later on. But hell yeah. Oh shit, no way. Virtus Virtus Row Bottoms? Hell yeah. 
Those are actually fairly rare. I think they're like getting any of the Virtus pieces are like the rarest items or whatever you could get here. Drop rate's like one in 2,000 and something. I'm gonna have to look that up later. Sadly, I didn't get this like day one since I wasn't around. Uh, they, I think they were going for like 300, 400 mil way at the beginning. But hey, I mean, I'll still take a free 30 mil and a new collection log slot. That's sick. Hell yeah. Speaking of collection logs, mine's not looking too bad so far. I'm also going to go ahead and just sell these, get about 30 mil for it. Pretty good, easy 30 mil. I don't need them because I have Ancestrals. Uh, it's basically the in-between Arams and Ancestrals if you don't have either of those. Or if you don't have Ancestral, that's what you go for, but hell yeah. Another little milestone right here, 200 KC, not doing too bad. I'm not sure what I'm going to end off with or how much kills I'm going to be able to get in just a week's time, but the, the overall drops here are pretty damn good. I like how it actually rewards you for doing perfect kills, because when you do a perfect kill, you get 50% bonus loot, and that's really nice. It definitely rewards that. That's right, I keep on clicking the wrong one. 157 Adior. I did so bad that one and I got the bonus thing. <music> 900 soul runes. This actually helps a lot considering I use a lot of charges on the shadow staff here. Oh, that was almost back to back soul runes. 1800 soul runes is crazy to get in just a couple drops from a boss. That looks nice. Okay, I'm like behind. Hold up. <laughs> Should not have eaten those, but we're fine. 42 rune ore. That's not, that's not bad. I swear, I, I hate when I like click in between prayers. Oh, I actually got a new thingy, a shadow quartz. So I'm at it. I'm, I'm now. I'm at a two out of three, right? Does the quartz count for it? <laughs> it's new to the collection log, so I'll take it. Finally got something new. Ooh, money. Ooh, money. I'll take that. Three mil. Another Awakener's Orb. I think that's my fifth one. Yeah, number five. I'm hoping to get as many as these as possible so I don't have to spend money on buying them for however many it's going to take me to get the actual uh, Blood Torba kit later on. Oh, no way. Yo, I just got the Bellator Vistage. No way. What? I didn't know I was at a 2 out of 3. Well, I guess I just confirmed that I was at 3 out of 3, but uh, what the hell? I literally just logged into the game as well. Holy crap, that's the first uh, ring upgrade for me right there. Yo, that's sick. I'm so glad that I got that before the pet as well. Hell yeah. I'm still going to... You know, I'm still going to be here, obviously, to try and get the pet for another few days or so at the Whisperer, and maybe I'll get lucky. I am also hoping to obviously get the staff as well, but holy crap. That's sick. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Now I just need to go figure out how to uh, how to go make that, because I, I, I heard it was a kind of lengthy process, but let me let me go figure out how to do that, and uh, we'll see, see what happens. All right, it took me a minute to figure it all out, but here we go, making the ring. Give me that Bellator ring. This is actually the most expensive ring right now and is currently the best slash ring in the game. 20, plus 20 slash and plus 6 melee strength, which is crazy. I think this thing is going for just under 200 mil right now, but here we are. Yeah, plus 20 slash and we've also got the plus six to the melee strength. I would love to keep this thing, but I'm probably going to end up selling it for now at least because the prices are still crashing. Uh, it only shows 17 and a half mil here, but it, it's definitely going for way more than that. Yeah, there we go. Sold for 182 mil just about. I'm only selling it, like I said, because I think things are going to crash and may as well sell it and then rebuy it back later and save a little bit of money, I suppose. I'll keep an eye on it for like the next week or two, I suppose, because I'm going to be probably switching to like Leviathan after this and uh, 
we'll just see what happens. But yeah, super happy with getting that. That's crazy. I was not expecting to get the Bellator uh, ring or vestige or whatever at all, especially that early. Hey, hell yeah, there we go, another one. Keep them coming, because I'm probably going to need dozens or maybe over 100 of these things if I want to get my Blood Torba. Oh, perfect kill for the Soul Room drops, and we end up getting 1,400 of them. That's amazing. I love that. Oh, something new. Okay. Oh, it's the Chromium Inga. This is the thing that you need to make the rings. Uh, but that's not too bad. I don't think these are going for too much, like under a mil. Probably just going to keep this one just in case I get another vestige, but pretty cool. New to the collection log. Damn, I swear these things are dropping like candy, especially in the clan. I keep seeing a lot of people get these things. That's Keep on coming. Thank you. Well, another casual 1,400 soul runes. Thank you very much. That's going straight to the staff. Oh, 400 KC. I swear this is kind of going a little bit fast, even though the kill times are, I, I don't know, on average two minutes, 40 seconds to three minutes. Pretty long kills, but there's there's 400 KC. Still no sign of the pit. Hey, there's my Awakeners. Wait, wait, I can type really fast. Live by the way. There we go. There, now I can say it to the clan. 126 dragon javelin heads. Can I trade that in for a siren staff, please? Ooh, Awakener's Orb. All right. Second one for today. I'll take it. It's a little bit of money. Someone else just got an Awakener's Orb, too, in chat. That was, like, almost back-to-back -back right there. Seven dragon plate skirts. That's not bad. Too bad that wasn't a perfect kill. The one time I, I get this drop, it's not a perfect kill. I was like, I got a, a shadow quartz. I, I've got that already. It made the fancy sound for the drop, and I was like, ooh, I got something. Nothing new. Second shadow quartz. At least we could turn those in for, like, I don't know, some rewards or whatever. They did some sort of update. I got to look into that later. Sure, I'm two out of three now, right? Two out of three? I'm surely I'm two out of three. Rune or Ooh, 63 this time, though. That's not bad. That's a good drop. 700k just about. Ooh, Awakener's Orb. Okay. That's the third one today. Yeah, third one today. Money. So after one week, I was able to get to 470 KC and make about 248 mil if you count the ring that I sold for 182 mil earlier. But don't forget to like the video, subscribe for the next episode, and also I'm live on Twitch, link below.